How are you? Men's freestyle action here, 57 kilograms, 125 and a half pounds from Times Square. Tony Ramos of the United States, recent U.S. Open champion, part of the U.S. World Team last year, taking on the man third in the world at his weight class, Yalis Monet Rodriguez of Cuba. So a big test for the up-and-coming 24-year-old American. And that's kind of the one thing that uh, Ramos likes, is he likes to challenge. He looks at, you know, who can I go out there and who can I wrestle today that'll make me the champion tomorrow. And you, know, you see it in his work ethic, you see it in the way he prepares, and just kind of his mentality, you, you see that desire. And that's where, you know, it just, it sees, you know, the, the sport of wrestling in America, freestyle wrestling, just slowly evolving into more competitive wrestlers, more wrestlers able to go out there and win medals at the world level and just be at that top level of international competition. And he's looking for the chance to, you know, get on the podium and then the chance to, to you know, get in a match like this, but just great, you know, great wrestling there for, for Boone, an opportunity to, you know, high dive and explode on the opportunity. Wasn't able to get it over for a bigger throw than just the two point, uh, you know, takedown, but just good opportunity. Trying to flip and gain control and take another big maneuver there. It's a four point throw for Bonnet Rodriguez of Cuba against Ramos. They met the Freestyle World Cup in Los Angeles in April. It was a great match. Ramos able to take down the world bronze medalist from last year a couple of times before getting caught in a cradle late and pinned. But certainly he sent a message to this Cuban that he can compete at a high level. He, he, he can, but ultimately, you know, now being down six nothing, and that was a reverse body lift position. That's more of a Greco-Roman classic style position that he got thrown in. And you know, you can hook the legs, you can trip it, do a lot of things. And so, you know, Boone came out, scored big points. Ramos is now fighting back, trying to get the two-point takedown, treetop position. And now you, you know, you want to you know amplitude it and you know try to find a way to get that angle to break your opponent down and, and have him go down to the mat and to score the points. Ramos taking his time trying to finish this off and get on the board here against his Cuban foe in bronze medal at Worlds last year, currently ranked third in the world. And they finally called the stalemate. What defense from Bonet Rodriguez. It's just, that's just amazing wrestling just to watch that and to have that flexibility and to be able to put the leg up there and feel that comfortable. And, you know, the, the thing was is he didn't allow, you know, you know, Boone didn't allow Ramos to get close enough to where he could find an angle and push it by, run the pipe is what we call it. You know, find a way to get him off balance and take him down. But that's just great balance and just let you know how much time and effort he's put on flexibility and then ability to, to be comfortable in a dangerous position. So a little athletic ballet from Bone Rodriguez, and he keeps Ramos scoreless here as we wind down the action in the first period. And you think about you know putting your leg on you know some you know some guys you know basically a shoulder and just stay in there and being able to keep your balance, but then also defend an attempt to take you back to the mat. And we'll see if Ramos can come up with some last second magic as he talks to his corner here, trailing six zip. And with Boone, he, he went for a high dive. He wasn't able to come out to one of the sides and get the angle, but just with the power and the ability to explode, he came up, got the two-point takedown right into the reverse lift, and that's more of a classic Greco move. Came in for the reverse lift, got a four-point throw, and a head 6-0. That's a pretty big uh, task to take for Ramos, but you know, knowing that uh, you know he got a great single leg position, but he couldn't score, so you know it's going to be a challenge to get back in this match, but. You know, Ramos, you know, he's never walked away from a, a battle, and that's what this is going to be. He's certainly ultra confident anytime you talk to him. Got a last second win against Andrew Hochstrasser in the final of the U.S. Open. A terrific victory to boost him and get ready to try to win a second straight trip to the World Championships for Team USA later this year. Won an NCAA title, did Ramos last year at Iowa, then rolled right into the international team, again, making that world team right out of college for the first time. And that's twice that uh, 
Boone from, from Cuba in the blue has been able just to step out of that high crotch position. You know, Ramos made the, the big attempt, got changed levels, got good penetration, but by the time you get there, you know, Boone knows that the leg's gonna be attacked, so he just simply steps out of it, and that's just knowing your opponent and being very smart. Six nothing lead for Cuba here against Ramos and Team USA. See what the American can come up with here as he tries to slice into this lead. And one of the things we haven't really seen yet, but you know, Boone from Cuba in the blue, he likes to hit a high, you know, a high amplitude outside fireman's that is very explosive. And you know, you take your opponent from your, your feet to the back could be a two point or a four point uh, move, and that could cost you the, the match. And so there's so many different components that that drive an opponent. And Ramos is just continuing to attack. He hasn't been able to find a way, but you know that's the way the sport of wrestling is. You keep chipping away until you finally see a weakness, and then you try to take advantage. First experience with Ramos here in Times Square with some of the American athletes, veterans have had the opportunity to wrestle in this atmosphere in the open air in front of a large crowd right in the smack in the middle of New York City. Getting set for that and trying to see if he can finish off this move against his Cuban foe. Couldn't last time. Can he get the two here this time? And, you know, just just great technical wrestling, you know, to go from a low level position to potentially exposure to, you know, now for the one point push out. And as you saw, Bonet finally just said, okay, I'll give you the one point. You know, it's now it's six to one, you know, with 52 seconds left. So I'm willing to kind of mitigate the risk and mitigate, you know, the, the opportunity to give up the points. But as you see, Bonet just kind of backs up to the edge and he feels completely comfortable knowing where he's at, you know, coming into the last 45 seconds. Yeah, that one allowed by the Cuban, really a win in that situation for him. Limiting the damage against Ramos. And look at that turn there, another four point throw. And that's what we call a kind of a high flyer position. You give your opponent a single leg, and this has been the, twi the, the second time that he had done that. And you know, that should be the match. That's four point throws, there's two of them, and it's just knowing where you're at with short time. Tony Ramos is a great performer for Team USA, has a bright future, but Yoles Bonet Rodriguez is a world medalist and showcasing his array of skills here.